there, welcome to Live Chat University. In today's lesson, we're gonna be talking about customizing the chat widget's appearance to match the look and feel of your website, what eye-catcher campaigns are, and how to use them. Let's do this. Right, let's start off with customizing the chat widget. So for that, we wanna open up our Live Chat app. We wanna go into settings, we want to find website widget, and we want to go into customization. Now, what's really cool, apart from all of the customization you can do, is that you can actually edit the chat widget on your website. So here, what you want to do is enter the URL address of the website you want to edit the chat widget on. Of course, without HTTP or HTTPS. And select go to proceed. By the way, you can check it out on as many websites as you like and also customize the chat widget on specific domains. We'll leave a link down below if you're interested. Anyways, so this is called the Live Editor. It allows you to seamlessly match the look and position of your chat window with your website. You can use it to safely test your design on a live website without saving it and making it visible to the public and without even adding the live chat JavaScript code to your website. For now, let's learn how to use the configurator in the live chat app and see all the cool things we can customize. So here at the top, we have appearance, where you can pick the theme of your chat window. Now you have maximized window where you can choose between smooth and modern. I'm gonna go with smooth. Um, then we have the minimized window where you can choose between a simple yet functional bar or a modern and minimalistic bubble. I'm gonna go with bubble. Now, for those of you who like dark mode, we've got you covered. The dark mode makes your widget display texts in white color on a dark background. It affects all of the widget elements, including rich messages and forms. So for that, we wanna simply click on dark mode. And there we go. Now, you can either select a theme color from one of our predefined sets or choose any color combination that suits you. Before we get going, I just want to mention that all customizable default colors have a contrast score of 4.5 or higher. The chat widget is also accessible to text-to-speech readers, which makes it accessible to visually impaired customers. If you want to make the chat widget more unique by choosing a custom color scheme, simply click on more color settings. So that's that. And next we have position. So in the widget position, you can decide where the chat widget should be placed on your website. You can choose between left and right. Um, you can define the side spacing and corresponding bottom edges. Then we have visibility, which lets you control when to display the chat widget icon on your website. We have three options to choose from here. And the first one is relatively straightforward. The chat widget is always visible. <laughs> and then we have hide widget until it gets activated. So this option allows you to keep your chat widget hidden until it gets activated via a campaign, an interaction with a custom start chat button added to your website or an open chat window API method. Once a chat starts, a customer can initiate a conversation by clicking on the chat widget icon as well. And lastly, always hide minimized widget icon. So the widget icon is never displayed. Hence, your visitor can't initiate a chat by clicking on it. Chats can start when either a visitor interacts with a custom start chat button added to your website, or if you implemented an open chat window API method that builds a custom mechanism responsible for opening a chat. If you wanna learn more about chat visibility, then after watching today's tutorial, you'll find a link in the description with a lot more info. Right, next we have the mobile chat widget. In this section, you can control whether you want to show your chat widget on mobile. Now, this option is turned on by default, but you can turn it off. The switch button will gray out and your mobile users won't be able to chat with you. However, the chat widget is designed to look and function well on mobile, and in many countries, the majority of users access websites on mobile. So, if you decide 
to display it on mobile, you can choose to have it appear the same as on desktop or custom for mobile devices. Then you have the same appearance and visibility that we talked about before. Then we have additional tweaks where you can change the behavior of your chat window without modifying live chat script added to the source code of your website. So there are quite a few things we can change around here. So we have a logo where you can upload your own logo that will be displayed in the top right corner next to the agent's details. We have show agent's photo where you can decide whether you'd like to display your agent's photo during a chat and in the chat bubble after your customer minimizes the chat window or receives a campaign. Then we have enable sound notifications for customers. So by default, your customers will be notified about a new campaign and a new message received in a chat by a sound notification. This should get their attention whenever they, for example, um, minimize the browser while talking with your agents. However, if you'd like to disable those sound notifications, simply switch this option to off. We have let customers rate agents. So with this option, you can decide whether your customers can rate your agents during or after the chat. We have let customers get chat transcripts. So you can turn on this option to give your customers the possibility to request the transcript of their current chat. So the chat transcript will be sent to their email. To make sure that the transcripts are only sent to the customers who want them, we send a verification email to customers requesting a transcript for the first time. Now, once their email address is verified, the requested transcripts are sent immediately. And lastly, we have a white label widget. So the white label widget is only on a higher plan like the enterprise plan. If you're interested in it, please talk to our sales team. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can find them. And one more very important thing, please remember to always click on save changes. And we did it. Now, for the more tech savvy, we actually have the chat widget JavaScript API, which is an easy yet powerful way to integrate your website or application with the live chat platform. We also have Live Chat Customer SDK, which is a set of tools that helps you build a custom chat widget. So if you'd like even more customization for super specific use cases, then you can dive into Live Chat SDK after this video. But for now, there is a lot more to learn. Let's keep going. Eyecatcher campaigns or eye catchers help you get more chats by drawing your visitors' attention to the chat widget on your website. For that, we need to go into Engage and we need to go to Campaigns. Now, if you already have some campaigns set up, please make sure to enable multiple campaigns by switching the toggle in the top right-hand corner to green. This way, your eye-catcher campaign will be displayed first and your other campaigns will be displayed when their conditions are met. If you'd like to learn more on the campaign section in general, then I've got a video for you on everything you need to know. I'm going to leave the link in the description for you. Right, let's go and set up our eye catcher. So we want to go and click on new campaign. And in the pop up, we want to make sure we pick reoccurring. In the configurator, First, pick the type of campaign you want to use. As we can see, we have various options to choose from here, like coupon, um, feature announcement, or show your product. Just please remember to choose one that's a bit flashier than a plain text campaign. I mean, we're creating eye catchers here. Right, a great one to go with is actually coupon. So I'm gonna click use template. So there's a lot you can play around with here. For example, you can upload your own image URL or choose from one of the ones available here. You can change the text, obviously. Um, you can add buttons leading customers to an open URL of your product page, an open moment, which will open your chosen link in the chat widget. Um, you can dismiss the campaign or even copy coupon. Like I said, there's a lot you can play around with here. For now, I'm going to go with no button and simply delete this. 
But like I said, if you're interested in uploading your own image URL, I will be talking about the specs at the end of this video, so keep watching. Right, let's say I'm satisfied with my eyecatcher campaign. Next, we wanna click on set conditions. Right, so at the top, we have who will receive this campaign. We have all visitors, first time visitors, and returning visitors. We're gonna go with all visitors. Then we have when to display this campaign. So time on page is more than how many seconds. And we have match all of these conditions or match one of these conditions. Then we have um, conditions here that we can add. But if you'd like the eye catcher campaign to appear immediately, what you want to do is set the delay to zero seconds. And if you'd like it to appear everywhere on your site, you want to delete all of the conditions. Now, I do want to dive into creating different eye catcher campaigns for different pages or customer groups so that you can target the right audience with conditions. So you can set up different types of campaigns depending on user's behavior, traffic source, and traffic patterns. So let's say we want to target a group of customers who are from the US who have browsed our website for over 24 seconds and are currently on a certain product page. For this, we'd add a new condition and we choose customer's location and type in United States. Then we want to add another one, customer's browsing time is more than 24 seconds. And then we want to add another condition and make sure we have current page URL. So here in the dropdown, we have various options to choose from. We have contains, does not contain, is exactly, and is not. I'm going to go with is exactly and simply paste in the link. Now, because our time on page is more than zero seconds and our customer's browsing time is more than 24 seconds, then that means as long as the customer has browsed our site for more than 24 seconds and opens the exact page URL, the eyecatcher campaign will appear. If, let's say, the customer has only browsed our site for 20 seconds and they open the exact page URL, they will still have to wait four seconds for the campaign to open because we set customer's browsing time is more than 24 seconds. Right, let's click on save campaign. You can change the name if you'd like and click on set campaign live. Once again, click save. Right, there's a lot you can change around. I know this is a lot of info right now. However, you can take your time, rewind, or rewatch. To check how your new eyecatcher campaign looks on your website, open your website in a new private window. Now, if you choose to upload your own image, then here are some guidelines. For formats, we have JPEG, PNG, and GIF. The optimal image size for the eyecatcher campaign image is 460 times 300 pixels for Tina Reddy. Um, you wanna keep it simple and be aware of those small elements. Definitely keep the context in mind. And lastly, handle animations with care. So that's all for today. Go and customize away. Let us know how it goes. Take care and see you soon. Thank you.